It's disheartening to hear about the frustrations faced by students from the Singapore Institute of Management University of London, SIMUOL, program regarding the additional venue fees for their upcoming examinations. The fact that each student has to bear an extra cost of around 200 Singapore dollars per paper to utilize British Council, BC, test venues is indeed concerning. According to reports, it was UOL that made the decision to hold the exams with the BC, and the additional payments are directed towards it. This decision has sparked understandable discontent among students, leading some to set up a petition against conducting the exams in a physical space, especially considering the demonstrated capability of completing tests remotely during pandemic lockdowns. The financial burden imposed by these additional fees is significant, particularly for students already grappling with substantial academic expenses. As highlighted by DIV and C, who shared their experiences, the sudden imposition of these charges presents challenges in budgeting, particularly for those who are self-funding their education without parental support. The argument against holding online exams in a physical venue seems valid, given that the tests are conducted on the same online platform used during the pandemic-induced remote exams. Moreover, students are required to bring their own laptops to the exam venue, further questioning the necessity of physical spaces for these assessments. Despite students' efforts, including initiating an online petition and planning to communicate their grievances to relevant authorities, it's disappointing to note that there hasn't been a substantial response from SIMUOL to address these concerns. While the university has stated its commitment to ensuring a smooth examination experience, it's crucial for them to acknowledge and actively work towards resolving the issues raised by students. SIM's clarification regarding the authority of UOL in sourcing and appointing exam venues for ensuring academic integrity is understandable. However, it's essential for the institution to consider the financial strain imposed on students and explore viable solutions, such as subsidizing or eliminating the additional charges, especially given the current economic climate and the challenges faced by many students. In conclusion, it's imperative for SIMUOL to prioritize the welfare and concerns of its students, especially in matters concerning academic assessments and associated costs. Addressing these issues transparently and proactively would not only alleviate the immediate financial burdens faced by students but also reinforce trust and confidence in the institution's commitment to student well-being and academic excellence. What are your thoughts on this matter? Do you believe SIMUOL should take further action to address the students' concerns and alleviate the financial burden they are facing? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more insightful discussions on current affairs and education-related topics.